Good afternoon, everybody. It's Coach Derek from the Puget Sound Powerhouse Showcase Team, also known as PSP. <clears throat> I got a segment I wanted to talk to you about. The topic of this segment is multi-sport athletes. Um, it, this is going to encompass a couple of different age groups um, and kind of define some thoughts. But <clears throat> before I start, I want to I want to lead with this. This message is for parents and players, okay? So for those of you that have children, there's young children, or you have children that are in that, that preteen, or if you're a parent that has teenagers that are in high school and you're on the fence of, do you continue to play multi-sports? Here's some information for you, okay? <clears throat> I wanna throw some names at you. Troy Aikman. Drafted by the New York Mets out of high school in 1985, Hall of Fame quarterback, Dallas Cowboys. Tom Brady, drafted by the Montreal Expo, Expos. I'm going to give a shout out to this guy because I met him. He's a classy dude. <clears throat> Hall of Famer, NFL running back, Cleveland Brown, Jim Brown. All-American in lacrosse. He played basketball and ran track at Syracuse University in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He's in the Lacrosse Hall of Fame and the College Football Hall of Fame. Super exciting guy, really nice guy, super down to earth. Um, <clears throat> Chris Carter played basketball and football at Ohio State. Kenny Easley drafted in the 10th round of the 1981 NBA draft. John Elway, I know this guy because he, 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 he was one of my favorite players growing up as a kid. Um, <clears throat> selected by the New York Yankees in the second round of the 1981 Major League Baseball draft. Uh, they plan to use Elway as their team starting right fielder in the 1985 season had he uh, foregone his uh, draft status and not gone to uh, play for the Broncos once they were traded. He traded, they were traded for him. Um, <clears throat> Antonio Gates, NFL future Hall of Famer, tight end, um, who's an all-conference player in basketball at Eastern Michigan and Kent State. <clears throat> Tony Gonzalez, Hall of Famer, tight end. Played college basketball for UC Berkeley. <clears throat> uh, Jimmy Graham, uh, he's a pro football high tight end. You know him. He played here for the Seahawks for, for a minute. Um, Jimmy Graham played four years of basketball for the University of Miami, Miami Hurricanes. Um, <clears throat> Bo Jackson, you know, probably one of the most famous, most marketed multi-sport athletes. Bo knows. Um, played for Kansas City Royals, uh, Chicago White Sox, Angels. Uh, and the Los Angeles Raiders before his uh, end, uh, career ended with his hip injury. Um, <clears throat> another guy, Brian Jordan, you know, a defensive back, outstanding NFL football player. Played football, and he ran in the outfield for the Atlanta Braves and I believe the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, <clears throat> Kyle Long, son of Howie Long, uh, offensive lineman for the Bears. He was drafted by the Chicago White Sox in 2008. John Lynch, the GM for the 49ers, but I liked him when he was with the Broncos and, and the, the Buccaneers. Um, <clears throat> he threw out the first pitch in history for the Erie Sailors minor league baseball team, and he played in the Florida Marlins, Marlins minor league system. Dan Marino, drafted by the Major League Baseball Kansas City Royals. Donovan McNabb, played basketball at Syracuse University. Neon Dion, another one of those famous, most marketed guys. <clears throat> Spent nine years in Major League Baseball. He's the only person to play in both a Super Bowl and a World Series, and he also ran track. Uh, Tim Tebow, you know, Tim Tebow is a ninth, or 2007 Heisman Trophy winner. He was a NFL quarterback for the Denver Broncos. Uh, he's currently in the New York Mets minor league system. Uh, <clears throat> Chris Winky, he played six years in minor league baseball before he went to Florida State. There, he won a Heisman Trophy and led his team to the national championship game, and he ended up being a starter eventually for a little bit in the NFL. Brandon Whedon, he was a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, played minor league baseball for the New York Yankees and Los Angeles Dodgers. Ricky Williams, Heisman Trophy. Ricky Williams out of University of Texas. Played four years in minor league baseball for the Philadelphia Phillies. And here's, here's one of my guys, Russell Wilson, one of our Seattle guys. Okay. He's the quarterback for the Seahawks. He was an infielder at North Carolina State. He was drafted by the Colorado Rockies in the 2010 draft with the 140th pick. He was also drafted by the Texas Rangers in the 2013 Rule 5 draft, and he's currently signed up underneath the New York Yankees. Jameis Winston, he's a football quarterback. Um, 
two-sport athlete, Florida State. <clears throat> he won the Heisman Trophy in 2013. He was also an outfielder in baseball. He decided to go to college despite being drafted by the Texas Rangers in the 15th round of the 2012 baseball draft. Frank Thomas, the big hurt. He was a teammate of Bo Jackson's at Auburn University. He's a tight end. Big dude. Huge. Monster. Hall of Famer in baseball. Dave Winfield, drafted by four professional teams in three different sports, basketball, baseball, and American football, but decided to concentrate on his baseball career. He played baseball and basketball for the University of Minnesota. Ryan Sandberg, Rhino from the Chicago Cubs, offered a football scholarship to play cornerback for WSU to be a Coug. <clears throat> Jackie Robinson played professional football in the PCPFL and was a four-sport letter at UCLA. Basketball, baseball, football, and track. Joe Maurer, outstanding baseball player in the MLB for the Minnesota Twins, played quarterback, point guard, and catcher in high school and was named USA Top High School Player of the Year twice in the same school year in 2000 for football and 2001 for baseball. Todd Helton from the Colorado Rockies, played quarterback at the University of Tennessee. Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer, played basketball. He's a standout at San Diego State, was drafted by both the San Diego Clippers and the San Diego Padres on the same day. Tom Glavin, drafted by the Los Angeles Kings in hockey. Sandy Koufax, a 12-year MLB Hall of Famer with the Dodgers, played basketball and baseball at the University of Cincinnati. <clears throat> Folks, what I'm here to tell you is if you're, if you're directing your kid to be a one-sport athlete, basically just navigating him to him or her to, 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 to play one sport, especially at an early age, you're, it's detrimental. Let them be a multi-sport athlete. They don't have to be a dual sport. They can be a multi-sport athlete. Let them grow. Let them, they may, they may realize they don't really like baseball and they accelerate in football or they accelerate in basketball. Let them transition, especially when they're young. Let them go from football to basketball to baseball or from <clears throat> soccer to, to football or to soccer to basketball to, to baseball. Or let them go from basketball to, to, to spring soccer. Let them go from basketball to, to track. Don't pigeonhole them. Okay? Let them grow. They don't have to overwork themselves to focus so much on baseball. Now, the caveat to that, as they continue to grow when they get to high school, is it reasonable to think that they're going to be like Dave Winfield and some of those that, that, that accelerated in all those sports that they did? No, they might have to narrow it down to their top sports, their top two, be a dual sport athlete. You might have to do football and basketball or football and baseball or basketball and baseball. <clears throat> you don't have to narrow yourself down to one sport, okay? Don't rob them of that when they're, they're young. And especially as they're getting into high school, let them enjoy that, okay? When, they, when, when it comes time to make that business decision of what sport best fits them, that'll, that'll come into play. Okay, they're, not gonna, they're not losing out. They will have to focus. And, and it's kind of one of those things where <clears throat> they might have to understand that during football season, they still have to do some baseball stuff. And during basketball season, they might have to still do some baseball stuff. But they don't have to continue to just work, 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 okay? Um, <clears throat> as they transition, like I said, and it gets more hyper competitive and they're competing for scholarships, they'll know, they're, they'll know the water and oil separates itself. You'll realize that you're, you're in a next level program. You're playing next level, high level competition, and you got to put the focus and effort in, but that doesn't mean you got to stop playing football. I've got some exceptional football players playing for me. As a matter of fact, you know, <clears throat> one of them, he, he, he can run three with a football. He's fast. The other one, he can throw a football right through you. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm trying to tell you, though, is don't push them as you're, as you're their parent or if you're a player watching this. Don't feel compelled to give up on a sport you love to just do one. Okay, and if your coach is having you do that, I strongly suggest you as an athlete sit down with your parents. And parents, make sure you talk to the right coaches because if your coach is telling you you need to be here for this, our, 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 we're in a 12 month training cycle for this baseball program. We're, we take, we make, we make people go places. 
it's not the right answer. So <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is, is keep those dreams alive. You know, I just read to you a long list of, of athletes that did not one sport, but several. They did, most of them were dual sport, but there were handfuls of them. And there's, there's hundreds, there's literally hundreds of athletes. I just picked the ones that might ring, ring a bell when you hear the name, okay? So <clears throat> athletes, keep those dreams alive, continue to work. Younger athletes, play all the sports you can. You don't get to go back into your childhood and do this again, okay? So parents, remember that. I hope this message found you all having a good week. God bless.